chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in the given figure if de by bc is equal to 2 by 3 the ratio of this to this side of the triangle has been given and if a is equal to 10 cm that is this has been given to us as 10 cm find ab we have to find out the length of this side these angles have also been given this is 75 this is 65 and this is 105 we have to now find out the length of the side ab this side we have been given a which belongs to the triangle ade so what we do is we try to find out the angles of this triangle ade once we have those angles we might have some hint to our problem let us start one by one this angle this angle we know can be obtained by considering the triangle abc in this triangle we have been given two angles 75 and 65 this third angle we know can be found out by writing 180 minus 75 plus 65 which is equal to 75 and 65 will be 140 180 minus 140 will be 40 degrees so we have this angle as equal to 40 degrees next we can also obtain this angle because this angle is a straight line and on this 105 has been given so we can write that the value of this angle is 180 minus 105 which comes to 75 degrees and since we have this is 40 this is 75 their total is 115 so this angle can also be marked this angle will be 180 minus 115 which is equal to 65 degrees so now we have a sufficient hint that if we look at this triangle ade and at the bigger triangle abc then we have a hint that this angle of the smaller is equal to this angle of the bigger and this angle is common to both the triangles it is a part of the smaller triangle and also a part of the bigger triangle abc likewise the smaller triangle has this as 75 and the bigger triangle also has this as 75 so we can say that triangle triangle ade is similar to the triangle abc and it is by the aa rule and once these two triangles are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides should be equal let us start with the ratio of the side ab ab of the bigger triangle is opposite to 65 degrees angle so i will write ab over 65 
65 in the smaller is this and opposite to this is AE. So we can write by AE this should be equal to now let us come to the bigger triangle since one of the ratios has been given as BC so we will use this BC side BC is opposite to 40 degrees is opposite to 40 degrees so we will write here BC and the 40 degree angle of the smaller triangle has DE opposite it. So we can write this DE here. Now we can substitute what is given to us which implies which implies AB is required so write AB as such by A. A is 10 so we will write 10 here which is equal to BC is to DE. DE is to BC is 2 by 3 reverse reciprocal so BC to DE will be 3 by 2 which implies AB is equal to take 10 to the other side 3 by 2 into 10 which is equal to we can now cut this on 5 is equal to 15 centimeter which is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. The question is the diagonal BD of a quadrilateral ABCD bisects angle B and D then which of these options is correct? We see that we have to have a quadrilateral ABC in which two opposite angles are being bisected by the diagonal. Let us draw a picture for this. Now we can see that a, B, C, D is a quadrilateral is a quadrilateral in which the diagonal B, D is bisecting the angle B and also the angle D. So what we can do is since this is bisecting this angle B we can write this that these two angles are equal to each other. Similarly since the diagonal bisects this angle D, we should also mark these angles as mutually equal. These double uh, borders will tell us that this angle is equal to this angle. Now we have the information that has been given to us in the question. Let us make a few observations. Now if we see this triangle ABD and also the triangle BCD we have two triangles one on this side and the other on this side. We can see that their angles are correspondingly equal. Side BD is shared common so we can write S here and this angle is also correspondingly equal. So we can say that triangle ABD triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD by ASA rule. If these are congruent then the corresponding sides have to be equal. The side opposite to this angle we'll mark it with a yellow tick should be equal to the side opposite the same angle on the other triangle and similarly this AD should be equal to this and BD is already common. 
we can for our ease mark this AB length as X. If this is X, then this length is also X and we'll similarly mark this length as Y. So, this length will also be Y. Now, let us attack our options one by one. What does option A say? Option A says AB by CD that is X by Y. X by Y should be equal to AD by BC. AD is Y. So, it should be equal to Y by BC. BC is X. That is, this option says X square should be equal to Y square or it says that X should be equal to Y which is not necessarily true. So, this option will have to be ruled out. So, we can rule this option out because X may not be equal to Y. Now, we will test this option B. In option B, he says AB by BC. AB is X by BC. BC is also X should be equal to AD by CD. AD is Y and CD is also Y which is obviously correct because this will cancel to 1 and this will cancel to 1. So, this is the correct answer AB by BC equal to AD by CD. We can also examine the third option also. AB equal to AD into BC. Let us see what is given to us. Because sometimes more than one options are correct. Let me mark this as wrong and this is right. And now we are testing the option C. This was test for A. This was test for B. And now we are testing for option C. AB. AB is X. X is equal to AD. AD is Y multiplied by BC. BC is X which is obviously not possible because if X cancels out Y should be 1 which is not necessarily true. So, this option is also wrong. So, we will cross this one also and cross this one also and none is obviously to be crossed because one of them has been found correct. So, our answer is B. Let us move to our next question. In the figure, BC is parallel to AD. The figure we can see is A, B, C, D. We have been given that BC is parallel to AD. This means the given figure is a trapezium. So, this given figure is a trapezium. And these are obviously the two diagonals BD and AC. Let those diagonals intersect at this point P. These segments have been given AP 3x minus 19, PC is x minus 5, PB is 3 and PD is x minus 3. We have to find out the value of x. Now, if you remember from my past discussion of the trapezium that the 
bisection of the two diagonals cuts them in the same ratio that is the ratio AP to PC is equal to the ratio of PD to PB. If you remember this then you can immediately set up the equation but if you do not remember then you can easily find that relation just in time like I am doing it now. Now BC has been given parallel to AD so we can immediately say that this angle will be equal to this angle the alternate angles for the transversal AC they will be equal to each other. And likewise if we look BD as a transversal then we will have this angle equal to this angle they are also the alternate angles for this transversal which is laid on the parallel lines BC and AD. Now if we look at the triangle BPC and the triangle APD then we can easily see that this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle so these two triangles are similar they are similar to each other this angle and this angle are correspondingly equal so we can write triangle BPC is similar to the triangle APD. The rule is AA rule of similarity. Once the two triangles are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides can be established. Let us start by moving around this angle. These two green have opposite them 3x minus 19. So I will write 3x minus 19 by the two lines green for the smaller triangle have x minus 5 opposite them. So I will write by x minus 5 this should be equal to let us pick the yellow angle the side opposite is x minus 3 so I will write x minus 3 2 for the upper triangle the yellow angle has 3 opposite to it so we will write 3 here this is the ratio that we have been able to establish. You could have written this ratio in just one step if you remembered the fact that the sides are divided proportionately when the two these diagonals are divided proportionately when they cut each other at a point P. By remembering that you could have simply written this whole thing in just one step. But if you do not remember then you can establish the similarity of these two triangles and still come to the same conclusion. Now we can cross multiply. We can cross multiply them. This equation will be a quadratic equation. x minus 5 into x minus 3 will take place and 3x minus 19 into 3 will take place. So I will cross multiply them. 9x minus 57 is equal to 9x minus 57 is equal to when I cross multiply them I will get x square minus 8x plus 15 on the right side. Now I can add this 9x to that side and 57 to that side. This leads me to a quadratic equation x square minus 
सेवनटीन एक्स प्लस सेवनटी टू इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस कैन ऑब्वियसली बी दिस कैन बी रीअरेंज टू एक्स माइनस नाइन इंटू एक्स माइनस एट इक्वल टू जीरो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बेसिक स्टेप्स ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन यू कैन ऑन योर रफ साइड सी दैट दीज स्टेप्स आर इंडीड करेक्ट सो वेन आई फैक्टराइज दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इन टू दिस आई हैव डन द डिटेल्ड सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन माई वीडियोज सो यू कैन रेफर दोज ऑल्सो विच इम्प्लाइज एक्स कैन हैव अ वैल्यू ऑफ नाइन और एट because x equal to 9 will make it zero and equation will become correct x equal to 8 will also make it zero so this equation will be correct or even otherwise x minus a into x minus b equal to zero means x equal to 9 and x equal to 8 are the two roots of this equation so x can have two values 9 and 8 in this case Let us move to our next question now. The question says ABCD is a parallelogram. P and Q are points on the diagonal AC such that AP is equal to QC. Then this quadrilateral is what that we have to answer. Four options must have been given. We are trying to find out the nature of this quadrilateral. Let us draw a diagram for this first. This is the diagram. A, B, C, and D is a parallelogram. P and Q. These points have been taken on the diagonal AC such that this AP is equal in length to. QC and we have to determine the nature of the quadrilateral BPDQ B P D and Q let us collect all the information that is available to us so that we can arrive at some solution to this problem now AC is a transversal for the parallel lines cd and ab this means this angle will have to be equal to this angle this is one thing the second thing is that abcd is a parallelogram so opposite sides have to be not only parallel they have to be equal also so this means side cd is equal to the side ab now observe these two triangles one this i am shading and this one we can observe that in these two triangles this side is correspondingly equal these two ticks and these two ticks and this side is correspondingly equal to this already given to us and this angle correspondingly equal to this angle as we just now saw with the help of the transversal so we can write that triangle dqc is congruent to the triangle apb and the rule is sas rule since these two triangles are congruent 
the side DQ should be equal to the side PB. The corresponding sides should be equal to each other. So we can write which implies DQ is equal to PB. This is one equation with us. We can similarly have a look at this triangle and this triangle. These two triangles are also congruent because AD is equal to BC and this part is equal to this part and this angle equal to this angle. This is again the transversal for BC and AD. So since this triangle and this triangle are congruent, we should have, we can write these steps also, also triangle APD is congruent to triangle BQC which implies DP is equal to BQ. This is our second conclusion. So we have established that DPBQ has opposite sides. Both pairs of opposite sides are equal in measure. So it must be a parallelogram which implies BP DQ. So I will write 1 and 2 imply that BP DQ is a parallelogram. Let us move to our next question. The measures of the angles of a quadrilateral are in an order R 1, 2, 3, 4 in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. Then the quadrilateral is what? Let us draw a schematic for our quadrilateral. We can mark this as A, B, C and D. The angle A has been given to us as let us say some K. Angle B has been given to us as 2K. Angle C has been given to us as 3K. And angle D is 4K in the same order that is from one point to another you will have 2 then 3 then 4. Or you could have gone this way also, k, 2k, 3k and 4k. Either way, it will be ok. Now, the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So, we can add all four angles, k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k equal to 360 by the angle sum property which implies k and 2k will be 3, 3 and 3, 6 and 4, 10 k equal to 360 which implies k should be equal to 360 by 10 equal to 36. Let us now mark our angles on the diagram itself. So this angle will be 36 degrees. This is 36 into 2, 72 degrees. This is 36 into 3 is 108 degrees. And this one will be 100. 
44 degrees. So we can make some observation here. This is 36, this is 144. They add 280 degrees. 6 and 4, 10 and 7 and 1, 8 and 180 degrees. So what we can say is that this angle and this angle, they are supplementary. They are supplementary. And similarly, 108 and 72 are also supplementary. So we will mark this and this also as supplementary. Now what does this immediately mean? That if we see this line DC and AB and for them we can see AD as a transversal, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So AB must be parallel to DC. Similarly, CBC as a transversal you will see that 72 and 108 are interior angles on the same side of the transversal and they are supplementary. So, we can say one thing that DC is parallel to AB. But is AD parallel to BC? We observe that this is 36 and this is 72 their sum is 108. So we can write here that this and this are not supplementary. Thirty-six and seventy-two are not supplementary, and similarly, hundred forty-four and hundred eight are also not supplementary. So we can say that DC is parallel to AB. The second thing we can say is that AD is not parallel to BC. Hence we can say that hence. ABCD is a trapezium. Which is the answer to this question?